Hey, hey, it's Faye. I'm at Macon Manor, and I'm outside, and I just wanted to see what this looks like. Man, that looks so much better. I'm out actually on the street, and right through this area, there's an old kitchen building just on the other side of that little rise, and so since before I got here, there's been piles visible from the road of rotting wood and what have you. And so that was my Hail Mary effort yesterday afternoon. I actually worked until dark um, and it was work, like a 500 calorie <laughs> plus burn work. Um, but I'm just so pleased. I haven't, it was dark, like I said, by the time I got done. So I really couldn't see it. And I just wanted to see the difference it made. And boy, what a world's worth of difference. That is awesome. Now I still have a, um, a bunch of bricks over there I gotta move. And I do have, we'll walk up there real quick. I don't wanna drag this out, I'm freezing. Um, my crepe myrtles, I trimmed some stuff back. My fruit trees, um, that's awesome. The new buds that appear to be healthy look like they've actually grown some. I might just save all those trees. That's have some fruit so as you can see I still have a lot of work to do for cleaning this up and uh, it takes a lot of time and whatnot but you can see my bare areas all this that I'm showing you right here was covered and piled high and I got it all gone. So I've still got to get rid of this here. It's going to be a little bit harder um, just because I can't um, get the trailer, which is a heck of a lot faster than a world barrel. I can't get the trailer all the way to everything. I can back it up to that end, I can back up to this end, but. I gotta be real careful of not stepping on nails. Um, it's a real crying shame that something wasn't done to save this building before it got to the point where it was not savable. But I've got a lot of brick uh, and a lot of it appears to be newer brick. Uh, so, but I think the basement -y area because they look purple might be original. So when I get all the wood out, what I'm hoping I'm gonna end up with, let me walk around, yeah, and I moved wood from away from the side of the house again because the first opportunity I have without rain and when it's a temperature that I can handle, boom, we're gonna be taking on this last stretch of foundation. And uh, as well as I've still got that one area I've got to go under and retweak on the one side. So that's awesome because it's, I can just taste how close that is to being done. But you can see the state of this mess. So what I'm hoping I'm gonna end up with is I'm hoping that I'm gonna have an area because the interior walls of brick appear to be good. So I'm hoping to get all this cleared out and end up with kind of like an open basement like shell that actually comes out on ground level out here because this is a slope. And I could do a couple things with it. I'm gonna build on top of it just a simple little A-frame, build it up roof so that from the road, all you're gonna see is the top of the A-frame and I'll trim out I'll take some plywood and do some scroll work and trim it out in some faux like Victorian so it looks cute and paint it like the house. So from the street, it'll look adorable. But what I'll have back here is this massive roofed area that I could do a couple things with. It's large enough to where I could, either, I could either drive the car in it and use it as a garage, a parking space, or I was thinking of extending the run off of the back of the corral up here where GCP would come in. That would be a huge, because it's got to be like 
oh my goodness for a stall it's going to be like something like 16 by 24 or so and so I could even maybe do that and like divide one side off for hay storage or something I don't know I'm going to do something cool with it and something that that looks pretty something that looks nice something that's going to look good with the house and um and will also look nice for for the neighbors as well as from the road so i did yesterday afternoon i slept i meant to get cracking on it first thing in the morning didn't happen i didn't sleep at all the night before the night before that i slept like i don't know a couple hours it was not good i've got like my poo pile the stuff i have on my personal plate at the moment i apologize i posted videos about taking on the gallery and i got distracted by life i've got a lot of life going on at the minute um i'm okay i'm okay nothing in my world that i can't handle um i'm okay and i'm gonna be okay but y'all are gonna have to be a little patient with me if it appears things are moving a little bit slower than normal but we are making progress and I will be taking on the gallery soon and I'm going to be then making the front parlor a priority so that will be exciting because that's going to be a beautiful beautiful space so that's all I got for making man or making Mississippi two little's for now